All right, so I'm here at Whistler Bike Park for a very, very special edition of Technique Tuesday. With me is the legend, the man, the myth, Jordan Boostmaster. Now, why do we have Jordan Boostmaster here on Technique Tuesday? What could he be teaching me today that I would have him on this camera? Today, he's gonna teach me how to boost the best person on the planet to show me such things. So, um, on this trail, we're on Blue Velvet, um, which is in the Garbanzo zone of Whistler Bike Park. Uh, really fun trail, very flowy, tons of brake bumps right now though, but there's this one jump along the trail that I often case and I really hate casing it because it's based, well, it's here, I'll just show you to you right now. It goes down and here's the lip. Camera's gonna flatten it out a little bit. And then it just dives deep down into there. So if you have the speed, and you're able to clear it, you just float all the way down and it's such an awesome kind of like weightless feeling. I've done it once or twice. And when I did it was freaking incredible. But the problem is that there is a pretty tight berm just beforehand and I find I lose a little bit too much speed and I often case the jump. So it's really hard to get enough speed to do it. And so Jordan was saying, you know, you probably could do that with slower speed if you boosted it but I have no idea what that means or what the hell he's talking about. First things first, I'm gonna do a run through so you can see how bad I am at it. And then uh, we'll send Jordan through and see the difference. He cased it. <laughs> right on, sweet dude. Oh look, he's like me. Bloop. Ah, he would have cased as well. All right, I'm rolling. The boost master's coming. Yep. Just so you know, he just did a no footer on the step up, just beyond this. All right, I told him to go a little slower, like my speed for that. And so he was like going my same speed. He cleared it. Let's learn to boost. I felt pretty slow. All right, Jordan, you got to share with me the magic of the boost. So when in your videos, um, I notice a lot of the times, and I'm willing to bet that this has something to do with boosting a jump, I notice your bars go up close to the mm -hmm. camera a lot. Like you're really pulling yeah, up on like those to things. The chest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so is that, yeah. is that having to do with like boosting a jump? Yeah, it's basically because it's like bunny hopping basically where like kind of the standard American bunny hop, I guess is what you call it, where you know you lift the front end first and then the back end, right? Okay. Where it's like front end and then the back end. Right. So essentially, when I'm going too slow for a jump, like that time, I felt like I was going pretty slow. I'd normally go faster. Right? <laughs> hey, come on. But then to clear it, you just have to bunny hop really hard. So you just really like, kind of like you're pressing down, yeah. lifting that front end up yeah. so that you can get that back end up. Okay, so, so big compression, pull up on the bars. Yeah, basically, yeah. You're just like going up, like big compression, pull up, and okay. then back end up. Do you find that, see, the, what, what I would think of in that kind of a situation would be it would be easier to like be pitched forward. Do you find that that's true? Cause if you're, I feel like if I'm like pulling up and then bringing my back end up, I don't know. I guess that's what would freak me out about it. That I would pitch myself forward, forward. For what? For the bunny hop? Well, yeah. So like if I, if I'm lifting up and then I'm lifting my, the back end up, I feel like I would be like, ah, like that, like tip forward. Like you would end up pitching you forward. Yeah. Like too much forward. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, is I that guess, just totally out to I lunch? Guess that's like why you need to really be, um, kind of know what you're doing with the initial front end up. Yeah, like that's putting the front wheel end up is kind of what'll keep you level because you're only supposed to. The idea is, I guess, you're only supposed to put your back wheel up, probably as high as your front wheel. Oh, okay, uh, okay, I, okay. I think that's a kind so you're not of a good idea. you're not really pulling up too hard with the feet. No. Okay. No, like you're like I don't think about using my feet. I would also like to note that while we were just talking at this section, there was like four or five riders that went past, and they all cased it just like how I did. I just wanted to note that. All right. I guess I need to go and try that. All right. Pull up, Lone Ranger. <laughs> well, I mean, you kind of did clear it, but a bit nose heavy though. That's the only reason why he didn't quite case it. I, I almost cleared it, right? 
Yeah, pretty much. Well, you kind of did, but only because you endoed it. <laughs> like, otherwise your back tire would have just like cased it. <laughs> so what he needs to remember is to really like pull up his front bars, kind of like push down with his feet and not necessarily lift up with his feet so much. Whoa, buddy. Woo! Pull up with your front more. Only let your feet bring the bike level rather than like consciously thinking about lifting the back end up. That was better. Yeah, yeah, it was totally better. I think he sent it. Yeah, it was better. I mean, it was a little nose heavy, but it wasn't as bad. And you, and you like cleared it easier. You didn't even try. Oh yeah. No one's clearing the jump. Yeah, no one's clearing the jump. <laughs> And it's true, like, mm -hmm. I find that I, with my bunny hops, I do tend to pull up. Like, if I'm just, like, hopping anything, I tend to pull up. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense that I would go a little nose heavy. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I was getting it, like, at that end, at the end, I think. Well, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, like, you're definitely better. Definitely doing better, for sure. So, you're on the right track. That's sweet. I love this jump, because it's yeah. so floaty when you actually do it right, so. Yeah. Yeah, learning how to boost. 100%. It makes everything more fun and poppy. <laughs> well, I think I got pretty close. At least I kind of understand what's happening. But you were saying a couple of other like tips while we were off camera. Mm -hmm. So now you have to say them again. As you're as you're lifting your front end up, it's almost like you're putting you're pushing your feet downwards in a way. Uh, especially when you're going up a lip, you especially want to kind of push your feet downward as you lift your front end up. That'll really help you to get your front end up more. Base that guy was even going fast and he still cased it. Yeah. But then uh, basically as you're like just off the lip, you really just kind of let your feet bring the bike level in the air. You don't like consciously think about lifting your feet up or anything like that. Let's see if he does it. Nope. Your back tire is already going up anyway, so you don't even need to worry about the back tire going up. Yeah. You just need to worry about it just kind of leveling out and then like slowly forward as you're going down to the transition which makes sense and that's like total american bunny hop like you pull up with your arms and it's like an up and over kind of thing right and that that motion is what's supposed to bring your back end sort of level it's really not your feet right yeah yeah okay that makes sense you're a smart man jordan all right so that's uh technique tuesday number two and thanks for the suggestion somebody in the comments actually suggested this so if anybody else has any more technique tuesdays if you want me to track somebody down and, and uh, pick their brain on, on something that you want to learn how to do, something that I want to learn how to do, um, make sure you hit me up in the comments. All right, cheers everybody. Oh, and go and check out Jordan's channel, Jordan Boostmaster, but you're probably already a sub because he's a total baller. All right, see you guys.